Hey everybody, Keith Dotson here, swishing through the dew and the clover in Murray County, Tennessee, about an hour south of Nashville, walking along this country road to get a better look at an old train depot. This is the old McKnight train depot, which serviced the Middle Tennessee Railroad. Now usually when we think of railroads, we might imagine them traveling long distances across country, but this was a local railroad that served as transportation for local residents. It helped them get to one of the local towns and back to their farms or whatever, and it also carried loads for some of the mines and mills that operated in the area at the time. The full route, including all stops, lasted just under two hours end to end, and it traveled 41 and a half miles one way. The McKnight Depot opened in 1910 and served the railroad until it closed in 1927. The rails were pulled up to make way for the road, which paved over the old rail bed. This might look like it's in the middle of nowhere, but a lot of well-known country music stars have properties out in this vicinity. And here you can see the somewhat sketchy situation you can find yourself in when you're photographing abandoned buildings. Do you hear those birds? How beautiful is that? That's one of the reasons I started making videos. You can't hear the bird songs in a still photograph. I found this place by accident, sort of. I knew about another spot I wanted to photograph on this road, and where there's one good abandoned place, there are often others, so I struck out on a local adventure to see what I could find. This is about 45 minutes from home for me. Anyways, not only did I find this abandoned treasure, but many other wonderful places that I'll show you in future videos. I've lived in Tennessee for about 11 years, and I never knew these places were here, because I never really looked. It's not uncommon for me to drive all day to visit a hot spot, and here, where all these places run under my nose all along.
You'll notice in the photographs at the end of the video that I retouched out all the no trespassing signs. I just find them to be an ugly distraction in photographs. I do love this sign though. It's a work of art in and of itself. It says no trespassing, private property of Mr. and Mrs. Ivan P. Walters. Now while researching this place, I saw a comment in one uh, forum from an offspring of the Walters saying that they live across the road from here. Over there in the distance, you can see that old boarded up house. I parked my car over there on that side road. I wanna show you something over there too. One of the problems with scouting back roads is there's often no good place to pull off and make your shots. Luckily, this other quiet little road was close by. What I wanted to show you is that interesting fish scale tin roof. Pretty cool. Looks like the owners might be doing some work on this place. Let's take one last look at the old depot situated on a bend on the road up there. Well, I hope you enjoyed seeing this place. Here are the photographs I shot at the old McKnight train depot. I wanted to point out this one detail. That's actually a clock carved into the woodwork. Imagine the hands on the front. Thanks for watching everybody. Be sure to visit my website at keithdotson.com.